All right, so this week is going to be different from all of the previous weeks. In fact, there's three weeks this semester that are going to be like this one. Uh, and what I want to do here is go over why this week is different, how it's different, and what it is that you need to be doing. All right, so this week you have one thought primer, not two. And it's not a thought primer that's having you do problems out of your book, and it's not a thought primer that's going to take you very long to do. Um, it's a thought primer that's getting you to kind of touch base on where you're at in the course, and then get you ready for a couple of big assignments. And that's what I want to sort of show you here. So thought primer number nine is due on Thursday, but I would really recommend that you jump on this thing <clears throat> sooner rather than later so that you have an idea of what kind of workload you're going to be contending with this week so you can structure your time uh, appropriately. Um, all right, so thought primer number nine. In part one, I'm just asking you to go into Canvas, uh, do kind of a check-in on where you're at with your thought primers, and then to tell me in your thought primer, um, in thought primer number nine, tell me, are you missing any thought primers? Do you have any that don't have full credit? And if so, What's your plan to get those things in? Or what's your plan to get those uh, thought primers that only have 50% up to 100%? And then when you've done that, <clears throat> you're ready to take on part two. And in part two, I'm going to be going over your first argument construction assignment. So the thing to do while you're watching this video um, is to make sure that you've printed out a copy of the assignment prompt that you can download right here. And I'd strongly recommend that you have a paper copy so that you can take notes right on it as you're watching the video overview of this assignment. Because um, I'm going over this assignment problem by problem and explaining to you this is where people oftentimes make mistakes. They do this when they're not supposed to. Or I'll give you pointers like a really effective way to tackle this is this way. And you can be making notes right on your assignment prompt so that when you go and start working on the problems in that, you'll have fresh in your mind my advice for dealing with each one of those problems. Um, as you can see here, there's a note that says, don't use the argument construction number one prompt that's in your course packet. So if you bought the course packet from CR's bookstore, it may contain some argument construction prompts at the very back of that. Just use those to light the fire in your stove. You don't want to have anything to do with those. You want to make sure you're using the prompt that's linked right here. All right, so you'll watch a couple of these short videos where I'm going over all the problems and giving you some pointers. And then, as part of thought primer number nine, you'll tell me, do you have any questions or concerns about this argument construction assignment? If so, what are they? That way, when I get it, I can start addressing those concerns or those, quest or, or those questions um, with you. Then when you've done that, you're ready for uh, part three. And part three is a short video that goes over chapter four exam. It's a really important video to watch because I'm, again, going to be going over some of the problems and explaining to you like, oh, this is how people make mistakes or here are some really effective strategies for completing this assignment. I think I may actually go over a couple of problems and give you the answer. So there's, there's your carrot for watching that video. Um, after you've watched that video, <clears throat> you're ready to tell me in thought primer number nine, do you have any questions? Do you have any concerns about Chapter 4 exam? If so, what are they? And send those along to me so that I can address them. All right, so as always, as you're working on all of this stuff, questions come up, concerns come up, confusion arises, send me an email, and then we can get it cleared up right away. All right? Have a fantabulous week, and you're going to do great on these assignments. I just know it. Fully expect you to be getting 100% on this. And as you watch the videos, you'll see why that's the case. All right, have a great week.